हेलो गाइस सो टुडे वी हैव थ्री एट फाइव जीरो फोर्टी एट पी ओ स्विच एंड वी हैव टू डू टुडे इनिशियल कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑन इट दिस स्विच यू कैन सी दिस स्विच हाउ इट्स लुक लाइक तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू ओपन दिस स्विच फर्स्ट वी हैव टू स्टार्ट दिस स्विच टू दी पावर केबल वेट अ मिनट लेट मी पावर ऑन दिस स्विच so uh, this is my laptop screen and we have to take cli access so first we have to find out the uh, our com port so we can find out through the here our com port is 11 we can see so we have to open the 40 first and enter 11 then open the 40 so here we can see the control access of the switch so first of all guys we have to check the running config so i am entering this command and as we can see uh, this switch is pre configured previously here we can see the dscp pool also so first we have to remove this uh, all these con configurations so please wait So here I am uh, checking the VLAN information. So VLAN thirty is also configured. And now I am checking the interface information. So here we can see the uh, VLAN thirty is uh, pre-configured. So now I'm I'm going to erase the starter pointer and with the help of this command and command would be erase the startup pointer and then confirm it. So now after enter this command, we have to enter reload command. And need to reload this switch confirm
so now our uh, switch is booted we have to enter now we will check the running config so here we can see nothing is configured because we have deleted the start of config before nothing is configured here now we have to configure start configuration on it by step by step here i'm checking the interface Nothing is here. Now I am checking the VLAN information. Still here is showing uh, default VLAN. Now I am checking the BSCP pool if any computer. So here is nothing. is configured now I'm going to configure to configure VLAN 10 and giving the name of a particular VLAN and which is name is our test do write now I'm checking the VLAN so here we can see the our uh, VLAN information We are creating SVI for the interface VLAN uh, and SVI stands for switch virtual interface. So here we will use the command IP address, interface VLAN 1, then enter, then uh, IP address, particular IP address, and no setup. Now we have to uh, merge the interfaces in VLAN 1. So now I am typing the command switch port. Interface change gigabit. So here is the command interface range gigabit 1 slash 0 slash 1 slash hyphen 48 and switch port mode access then enter then switch port access VLAN 1. So here we configured all the port in VLAN 1 which is our default VLAN. We have to save the configuration via command to write. Then exit. Now 
now do show IP interface brief. Then we will get the IP address of interface design one. Now you can see the our default PNN IP address. This is our SPI interface. So here you can see the all the score of the switch are lying in default PNN one. Now we have to configure DSCP tool for VLAN one. This command is IP IP DSCP tool one. We have to assign network, which is our network one ninety two one sixty eight twenty dot zero and slash twenty four. Now we have to uh, give default directory. Here we can uh, use the uh, SBI interface IP address as a default gateway. Twenty dot three. Now we have to mention the DNS server, which is our global server eight dot eight dot eight dot eight, and list three sixty five. Our DHCP configuration has been done. We have to write this command. That's it. Now we have to check the DHCP server. Here we have configured, but uh, this server is not releasing any IP address to other device currently because we have initially uh, configured. Now I am checking the network setting, and so here I can see here you can see the I am connected with particular DSCP pool and getting IP address via DSCP, uh, which is our one ninety two one sixty eight twenty dot two. The same network I has been configured on DSCP pool. Now I am again checking the <coughs> Ethernet port IP address. We have to disable this port, then enable. So you can see uh, we have we have con connected with particular IP address which we have configured on the SCP pool. Now now we have to check the SCP binding or list. Nothing is showing because it can, uh, it will take a time. Now we have to check 
connectivity between switch two to our PC. So we have to enter the command. We have to enter and pin. Pin and system IP 192.168.20.2. Where you can see the um, success rate of pin. Connectivity, connectivity uh, has been formed between the switch over our PC. Now both devices are in same networks. Now I'm testing the ping com uh, ping uh, through. Um, from our PC to our switch. Here is also in the look. Complete connectivity has been formed between the devices. One thing more we, have, uh, we can consider, we can consider the host name. We, uh, if you and you have to change the uh, host name, then they can. And this command is host name and particular host name which we have to assign. So now you can see the, we have successfully changed the host name also. That is very uh, initial level configuration. So we have configured all the uh, basic configuration on this switch. Now we can check running config list. 